by Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Wow. We have a testimony, powerful testimony, from Brother Matt, from our YouTube family. Listen to this. I try to share my testimony whenever the opportunity arises. I try to make it short. I'm a guy in my late 40s who had a near-death experience and met Jesus in the next realm when I was 22 years old. It was a wonderful experience, but I was too worldly and didn't reflect on it much as time passed. As a result, the Lord allowed me to be visited by the devil himself. While I was asleep in the military barracks about four years after I met Jesus, I awoke to a very evil presence and jumped out of the bed and saw the devil in his hideous spirit form. He revealed his name to me in a dream just before I woke. He projected an energy of rage and hatred and pure evil. I was terrified and took a boxing stance thinking he was going to attack at any moment. We faced each other for a while until the name Jesus popped into my head. At that very moment, the devil collapsed into a mist and departed under a gap in the floor. I could see, I mean, I could feel his evil presence leave the barracks. I learned that the devil can read our minds. He knew when I thought of the name of Jesus. So we should ponder the righteous things of God to keep the devil away also. The name Jesus is a weapon. Use Jesus freely in your life. God bless you, Miss Pat, and all my brothers and sisters. Woo! How powerful is that? Now, this is Pat's two cents now. Me talking. I want you to hear this. Now, I've told these two stories in some of my other videos, but this fits in here perfectly. When the name of Jesus is very powerful, you have no idea what you can get rid of. Number one, when I was upstairs in my bedroom and I was laying flat on my bed, a demon from underneath me, here I am laying here, a demon from underneath me reaches over and puts his hand over my face my eyes and nose blocks my breathing blocks my mouth I can't breathe in can't breathe out can't speak so in my opinion this bad boy is trying to kill me it ain't happening on my watch so I use the name Jesus I couldn't speak it I couldn't articulate it so I mumbled the best I could. It was clear in my mind, just not coming out my mouth. So as I said, I heard angels join me in chorus. And they said it for me, with me. I rebuke you, all these voices whispering in unison. I rebuke you. In the name of Jesus, boop, gone. Just like that. See, the devil can't hurt you. You got the name of Jesus on your side. If you got Jesus in your heart, you got him on your side, baby. He's on. He's for you, not against you. Now, another, you have to know this. When you're walking down the street, if somebody's a little stupid dog comes chasing you, not to play, but to tear your behind up, I don't care if it's a pit bull. I'm talking from experience. You bind that bad boy. I bind.
bind you. I don't care if it's a pack of dogs. Experience again. I bind you in the name of Jesus. Now you might be scared. You may I bind you in the name of Jesus. You may be scared out of your wits, but you remember to say those words. They'll stop dead in their tracks. I saw them do it. This was not a dream. Memorize that sentence. I bind you in the name of Jesus. And sentence number two. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. You hear me? And if you feel evil in your house. Command all evil. To leave your house. I command you evil demons and spirits and imps. Leave my house immediately. I command you to leave. You have no right. This territory belongs to God. You're trespassing. Leave and never return. And if you do, I call on the angels. I ask God, send your angels, Lord, to torment any foolish imp that would try to get in here. In the name of Jesus. Battle one, victory is yours. God bless you.